Lincoln, Nebraska, AP, Glenn Watson Jr. scored 20 of his 29 points in the second half and Nebraska opened up a 16-point lead early in the second half on route to a 78-68 win over No. Fourteen Minnesota on Tuesday night. Watson scored seven straight points to open the second half, and Duby Stunk put Nebraska seven to three, one to one Big Ten, up forty-eight to thirty-two with fifteen thirty-five left. Minnesota eight to two, one to one, made two of its first ten shots in the half and struggled against the Huskers' switching man-to-man -man defense. Minnesota cut the lead to 67-53 after two free throws by Nate Mason with 4.37 left, but James Palmer Jr. S3 put Nebraska up by 17. The Gophers forced a pair of turnovers, hit three three-pointers in the final three minutes, and Reggie Lynch's dunk with 1.01 left cut the lead to 72-64. Watson and Isaac Copeland made six of eight free throws in the final minute to seal it. The Huskers held Big Ten scoring leader Jordan Murphy to 10 points, 11 below his season average, and held high scoring Minnesota 21 points below its season average. Mason led Minnesota with 20 points. And Amir Coffey had 17 points. Copeland finished with 12 points for Nebraska, and Palmer had 11 points. Big picture: Minnesota missed six shots to open both halves. The Gophers hit just 32% of their shots Tuesday. They entered averaging 49% shooting. Nebraska, an up and down shooting team, hit 47% of its shots, 57% in the second half. The Huskers shot just 27% in their 86 57 loss at Michigan State on Sunday. Up next, Nebraska travels to Omaha on Saturday to meet interstate rival Creighton, which dropped out of the AP Top 25 after being ranked for one week. Minnesota is at Arkansas on Saturday to play its second road contest and third game of the week.